Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of videos, we are going to utilize AI, artificial intelligence to make and analyze our existing videos. For every session of CSI and Life Science, I already make videos on the most important topics for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination. And if you are wondering what are the most important topic from individual units for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination, then this video is going to help you. But this is a disclaimer that this video is made with AI because it I already made four or five different videos on individual units. From all the other units, I compiled them with the help of the AI and AI analyzed all of my videos and my strategies and it put together as a summary for all of you. Under seven, eight minutes, you're going to get a crisp and to the point summary of the preparation of any individual topics of CS and Net Life Science Unit, be it Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. For all the 13 units, you will get this video series both in English as well as in Hindi. So just don't leave the video because it's made with AI. AI can do wonders. Don't think that a teacher, if he's using AI, that means a teacher is not doing its job. Teacher is obviously doing its job, but it's compiling them with the help of the AI to take it to the next level. And I bet that after going through this video, if you watch one of this video, you'll be hooked and you'll continue the series and that is out there. Now, why I'm making this with the AI? Because I've already made it multiple times manually and it does not make sense making the same video every single time. So I tried something new this time with the help of the AI watch i believe you are going to like it if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike mention why you dislike and if you like to get more content like this also mention that in the comment section all right welcome everyone today we're going to break down one of the toughest and let's be honest one of the most feared units for any csir net life science aspirant unit 8 genetics we're going to take all that anxiety and turn it into a real strategic advantage for you. So if you've ever looked at that huge syllabus for Unit 8 and just felt this wave of panic, like where do I even start? Yeah, you are definitely not alone. That's a super common feeling. But today, we're going to swap that out for a feeling of control. And that's really the heart of the problem, isn't it? It's this kind of double-edged sword. You've got to have this really deep conceptual understanding, and you have to be able to solve some pretty complex math problems. It's that unique mix that makes a smart, targeted study plan absolutely non-negotiable. Okay, so here's our game plan. We'll start by talking about the challenge itself. Then, I'm going to introduce you to a really powerful data-driven strategy to just cut through all the noise. We'll cover the core topics, the greens, that you absolutely have to know, what to tackle next, the blues, and just as important, what you can safely skip, the reds. And then we'll wrap it all up into a clear action plan you can use right away. You know, the very first step to conquering Unit 8 isn't about opening a book, it's a mental shift. We've gotta get away from this impossible idea of I have to cover everything and move to a much smarter goal, which is focusing on what actually matters for getting a high score. I mean, just look at the difference here. The old approach on the left, that's just a recipe for burnout. You're trying to do everything, you feel overwhelmed, and you waste so much time. But the smart approach, that's about working with focus, with precision. For a competitive exam like CSIR Net, this isn't just a better way to study, it's really the only way to study effectively. So, the million dollar question is how do we prioritize, right? How do we know what's actually important? Well, we do it by letting the data tell us, not our gut feelings. We're going to use a system that's based on what the exam is really asking, year after year. And this right here, this is the heart of our entire strategy. This system isn't based on guesswork or what we think might be important. Nope. It's the direct result of a deep dive into the last 10 question papers, specifically after the exam pattern changed around the COVID era. It tells us exactly which topics are hot and which ones are, well, not. So it's a simple but really, really powerful color code. Green topics, those are your non-negotiables. You just have to do them. Blue topics are what you tackle next to build on that strong foundation. And the red topics, those are the ones you can basically give yourself permission to deprioritize to save your precious time. We're going to filter the whole syllabus through this lens. Okay, let's get right to it. 
the most critical part of this whole strategy, the greens. These are the topics you absolutely positively have to master. There's just no way around them. You know, I love this quote from the analysis because it's just so direct. It perfectly sums up how important these topics are. Ignoring these is like saying, you know what, I'm just going to skip unit eight. You're basically giving up most of the marks you could get. And here they are, the four pillars of Unit 8. First up, Mendelian principles. That's the absolute bedrock. Then you've got the concept of the gene, really understanding what a gene is. Next, the extensions of Mendelian principles. We're talking codominance, epistasis, all that good stuff. And finally, the big one, gene mapping methods, which is often very mathematical. The vast, vast majority of questions are coming from these four areas. Your preparation has to start and end here. Okay, awesome. So once you have a rock solid grip on those green topics, it's time to build on it. The blue topics are your next stop. These are what's gonna give you that competitive edge and really help you lock in a top score. These three pop up often enough that they're a really smart investment of your time. You've got human genetics, think pedigree analysis. Then there's mutation, the types and mechanisms. And finally, microbial genetics. Think of these as the topics that take you from just getting by to really excelling and getting a great rank. All right, now this part is just as crucial as knowing what to study. A truly smart strategy is also about knowing what not to study. So let's look at the topics you can safely push to the bottom of your list to really maximize your time. So, according to the data, topics like extra chromosomal inheritance, quantitative genetics, and all those chromosomal alterations, questions on these are just incredibly rare in recent exams. They might have been a big deal in the past, but the current trend says they're very low yield. Spending a lot of time here is just not an efficient use of your limited prep time. Okay, so we've talked about the what. Now let's talk about the how. We're going to pull all this information together into a final, actionable blueprint for you to absolutely crush Unit 8. And check this out. This chart tells you everything you need to know about what this unit is really like. About 80% of the questions are conceptual, and a massive 70% involves some kind of math or problem solving. So what does that tell you? It's simple. You absolutely cannot solve the math if you don't deeply, truly understand the theory behind it. So if there's one thing you take away from all this, let it be this, your approach has to be theory first. Before you even think about picking up a calculator or trying a linkage problem, you have to master the why. Why do these genes segregate like this? Why does this cross give me that ratio? A strong conceptual base isn't just nice to have, it is the absolute prerequisite for success here. And here it is, your step-by-step -step plan. Step one, master those four green topics until you can do them in your sleep. Step two, as you do that, focus on building really strong theoretical concepts for everything. Step three, then and only then, dive into practicing the math, especially for gene mapping. Step four, if you've got time, go back and review those blue topics. And finally, step five, give yourself permission to safely let go of those red topics. So there you have it, that's the strategic breakdown. The big takeaway here is that cracking a tough unit like genetics isn't just about how many hours you study, it's about how smart and focused that work is. It's about working smart, not just hard. So the question I wanna leave you with is, how are you going to use this blueprint, this filter, to turn this challenge into your biggest strength? So I believe you got an overall detailed idea about how do you prepare this particular unit for the CSINET, upcoming CSINET Life Science Examination Preparation. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, colleagues and subscribe to this channel. And also mention what necessary adjustment that we need to do to make more of this kind of videos. Should you make them? Should you not make them? And also, uh, if you wish to join Shomu's Biology, because this video is actually made from four of my YouTube videos. I feed four of my existing YouTube videos and AI gave this output. So it is basically my own content. It is churned content of mine. So if you wish to get this content, if you want to get trained by me, get coached by me for CSI Net Life Science Examination Preparation, then join our online coaching. The admission is going on. Contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our Shomus Biology application from Google Play Store. You'll find all the course details in there. You can also buy our study material package, five books, 3,900 rupees, five books plus 64 GB recorded lecture content, 8,900 rupees, always from our website or directly from us by contacting 9804654228 number in WhatsApp. 
So mention your, uh, you know, say in the comment section so that I get to know whether you liked it or not. See you there in the next video. Thank you. Bye.